Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today the new American Horror Story season came out. Well, this is actually the second part of season four, which they couldn't fully film last year because of the strikes, if I remember correctly. So at first I thought we were still gonna get like the second half of the season in the same year, but then they just decided to release them now. And now we have five more episodes in one day. I'm really excited for this. Like we all know American Horror Stories has had some bad episodes, but they also had some pretty good ones. So it's always kind of a surprise what you're gonna get but i have to say from the previous seasons i think they were all pretty okay also i saw that my reaction to the episode bestie kind of blew up i'm getting so many views on that one like still every day so that's really nice thank you for that and that's also something i really noticed with american horror stories like when i upload them at first they don't get that many views but then when i look back at it a year later suddenly it has like a pretty okay amount of views. So I feel like people still really enjoy reactions to it. So uh, yeah, here we are again. Today and tomorrow I'm going to record all five of them. And uh, by the end of the week, probably the first three will be done. So then you can already see them on my Patreon if you want. You can check out the early access tier and there you'll get early access to the episodes. There's also an uncut reaction tier and there you can see my full reactions to the episodes without any cuts. So the, what is it? 40, 45 minute long episodes just in that full length. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. You'd also really be supporting me by doing that. Uh, but yeah, if you just want to watch here, that's also fine. I already really appreciate that. Uh, maybe consider subscribing then because uh, yeah, I'm reacting to American Horror Story, American Horror Stories and lots of other fun stuff. So uh, thank you for being here today. So with all of that information given, I'm going to watch the first episode now. It's called Back Rooms. And uh, from the small synopsis we got, it says, a desperate father will do anything and go anywhere for a chance at finding his missing son. What I'm imagining with this information right now is that he's gonna be in some kind of okay what it's making me think of right now is that uh one movie that came out i think this year or last year imaginary it was a fucking shit movie let's say that first but it kind of reminds me of the fantasy world they went into and then there was like all these different rooms with like creepy stuff and all that is kind of my first thought when i hear this so I have no idea for the rest. I haven't even watched a trailer or whatever. So I'm just going to find out now. I'm also really excited for new intros and all. So uh, yeah, let's just check out this episode and see if I'm anywhere near correct. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, a writer, movie writer, oh, screenplay writer. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, I know this guy. He's from uh, White Lotus. Okay, and his son is the one that's missing. Someone who's fine doesn't ignore his best friend when he calls and calls repeatedly. Not after what's happened. I can still work, thank Christ. We love you, all your friends, your family. What are you doing? Are you working on a script? Is that why you're not... Yeah, so you'll have something to sell. Oh, fuck you. What you've been through... What I've been through what it is I've been through, then let's see how you... You'd go insane. You'd go mad. You'd never stop fucking screaming. This is hell. Okay, I wonder how long he's been missing then. My 10-year-old son vanishes into thin air. Who knows? Do you know where the mind goes? Of the ditches he could be in, of the cult that kidnapped, or sex traffic, Tim? Please, sex traffic. Cannot assume these... Do, do you know? I mean, that is sadly things that happen in the world. Being taken? That's a fucking movie. Taken. We just want you to start coming out into the world again. Living life again. The world is over. It's over. Out there is just a... A cardboard cutout of the world. They're not people, they're empty entities. This picture I'm writing, that's how I stay in the world. But I'll never be part of the outside world again. A movie about a man who loses his son and goes mad. Basically what this is right now. You can leave now, okay? Show yourself the fuck out. Ha. Huh. So, another room. feeling if it's real Hello? oh that is kind of creepy where the fuck am i like it is already pretty creepy that you end up in a grocery store if you walk through a door in your own house but especially when you're on your own i'm dreaming 
lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming, yeah. Fair. But the weirdest part is the other man was just standing in the room with him. Stop the hat. No, no, not the creepy stuff. <gasps> Ew. Oh, is that maybe the sun? Why is he wearing a mask? Ew. Roman. And he's back. Intro. Yeah. But where did the guy go? Because uh, the, what was it? The manager or whatever? He was standing right next to him. Ooh, like a mace. Huh. I'm really curious about this episode. Where the fuck have you been, Danny? Don't tell me he's been gone for super long now or something. You kick me out when I try to help you, then you disappear for three weeks. Everyone has been sick with worry. Three weeks? I've been gone for three weeks. Yes. Where did you go? What? What's the matter with you? Could you meet me, please, in an hour at Muse? So now I'm just thinking, if he actually goes into those rooms to look for his son, he's just gonna lose, like, months of his life, probably. Is that the ex-wife? Why is she here? Try some kind of intervention. Sit down. Oh, Roman not... is dead. Uh, what? They found him. The police found him. In the woods behind the playground on Latham Street. Everyone is looking for you to tell you. Where were you? Where is he? The morgue. The Westchester morgue. I really thought he was going to go through his rooms and uh, find him or something. Blanket. A, a red blanket. What do the police say? They don't have anything. They're doing tests for DNA and fingerprints. It's finally real. It's all real. I'm not dreaming anymore. Do you know we invented hell? We made it. We manifest. I, I'm going to kill whoever did this. I swear to God, I'm going to kill them. You can be in the world one moment and hell the next. It is right here. It's right next to us. I need a moment, please. Another room? What the hell is going on here? Eva! What the fuck? Roman! Roman, are you here? Ew! No, don't go in there! Ugh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. I feel like that's going to be the only exit, though. Or exit, or I don't know, to end up somewhere else. I gotta say, I'm kind of curious to see what's behind that now, but uh, I, I wouldn't want to go in there. Kind of more of the same, but another door. Or closet, or a room, yeah. Oh, oh, those are the masks the, the boy was wearing as well. I really want to know what's going on here. I feel like he's going to be gone for another two months now or something. Ah, what? Zombies. Ew, they're all coming to life. Daniel, Houseman Berger, the chorus. 
Nasty. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. <laughs> okay, at least they can't come through. Ew. Oh, there they do come. No? Does he still think it's a lucid dream? Oh, that's Roman. Roman? What's up with the voice? Uh. First episode instantly so creepy. But I do love some good creepy vibes. And he's back in the house. <laughs> does he want to kill himself or does he know who killed his son? Okay. Yeah, how are you going to Google what's going on with you? <gasps> what? Ooh, creepy! What if he's gonna see himself? Liminal space. It's the area between here and there. There being anywhere... I'm scared the people are gonna show up. Accessible from either side. I know this because I've been there. I was never able to capture sound. Oh my god, that's the guy from Or Black Means Dead, right? Yeah! Clones are useless. Fun. Super 8. Works okay. Started carrying around with me, so I saw I'd have it when I slipped through. What the hell? I have been to this place. It's not anywhere on Earth that I know of. Can he maybe, like, contact him? If you know this place, if anyone has been there, please, I have theories. Reach out. Okay. Or don't. Whatever. <laughs> Dramatic way to end your vlog. <laughs> He's in prison? <laughs> what? It's a form of temporal phasing in which one bypasses the, the normal boundaries of spatial reality. Oh, it's so fun to see him here. You think reality of the world is, is like that veneer. Exactly. What keeps us tethered to reality? Our, our hardwiring, our, our, our senses, what we can see, what we can touch. But that's only half of it. What's the other half? The social contract, the rules that exist for being a member of this species. When a person breaks those rules, they can disconnect from our collective perception of reality. The other side, well, there's only one way to get there. Yes, I think they can slip into some middle area. A uh, kind of purgatory where I'm being sent to pay for my sins? I don't, I don't speak that language. I know science, that's all. Ah. Why does it look like an office? My guess, you're still tied to your human faculties. You're not wired to be able to actually perceive it. It appears instead as somewhere familiar, an, an office, a grocery store. Detail to be tangible. But it's not. And you know about this because because you've been there. It happened to you. Yeah, I mean, he's been there too. So then the same thing is up with him, right? I ended up there uh, because of a woman, Charlotte Hansley. She was a triathlete. She was also a wife and a mom. 6.49 a.m. I ran a red light. Oh, that's why he's in prison. Click on a link to claim a coupon for dog food. I wish she had died right then. It, it's okay. I'm really, really sorry. Shit. What'd she do? She held on for a couple minutes. I was the only one there. Looking at your phone? Or did she just come out of nowhere? She was just there. I hadn't meant to lie. She ran the stop sign? It just came out. Oh, God. I didn't realize I'd have to tell the same lie every day for the rest of my life. That lie became the center of my whole identity. It wasn't my fault. I was still physically there. I could see everything around me, but I, I couldn't break through and be a part of it anymore. Reality was getting farther and farther away. So it have to be through something traumatic, and that's when that starts to happen? And I was there in that place. 
what is it exactly you think I've done? You came to me. I'm not your therapist. I'm not your parole officer. I'm not going to ask you what it is. All I can tell you is, if you want out of this hell, you better fix it. The longer it festers, the worse this whole thing is going to get. Oh, she is. I had to tell the truth. Face the music. But like, what is his thing then? Because he lost his son, but... I'm just thinking right now, like, did he kill the son himself? But I feel like that's a little far-fetched. Does he know something he's not telling, but kind of forgot or something? I don't know. But if this is only going to get worse, you have to solve it. Because it is pretty scary. Especially with the people running up to you. Or just never walk into a door again. Did he have something to do with it? I think he did. Maybe like an accident or something, but he, he's also lying about it. What's going on? Come on, Daniel, you know what's going on. First. I didn't do it, Aaron. I didn't do it. <gasps> okay, another lie, and he's back there. Go peacefully, and I'm gonna treat you fair. <laughs> I swear to you, I didn't do it. You don't have to live with a lie anymore. I'm not lying! On video. There was a security cam at the golf course next door. What? <gasps> Dude, they're just gonna kill you. What do you expect with your little gun? Hey guys. Uh huh. Uh oh. Looks like Daddy's been having playtime too. Even though he told mommy he was coming straight home. Well, got stuck with the goddamn studio giving him notes and on drinks, and daddy couldn't just walk out on them. So everybody had a big day. What the fuck is wrong with you, Daniel? Is Hollywood so important to you that you're just. Are you still even human? The Oscar winner, artist, artist. Sensitive, brilliant. Second, things get tough in life, real life, real life. Hollywood greatness. Do you think walking out on your family means you are free? <laughs> what a messed up family. Or like, messed up man. I think that's a better way to put it. I didn't really see this coming. Like, honestly, from the moment the guy in prison said, like, oh, yeah, it was because I lied and because it was my fault, I was like, okay, but he didn't do anything right. Or did he? Wait, is he in another room now? Huh? Oh, is he going to hell? Is he now really going down there? Oh. Is that the woman who died in the in the car crash or like with on the bike? Hello father. You came. Or just like a demon. Can you can can you can you yeah. help me please? I have to get out of here. I want to go home. But you've only just arrived. You traveled so far. No one has ever come this deep before. Why am I here? You know why? They're coming for you, father. Oh, there they are again. Time to come clean. <laughs> Suddenly he's there. You're a selfish fuck. Okay, I'll tell everyone. I'll tell everyone the truth. But he's been shot now, right? I promise. You miss me, Dad? Of course. Every day, my son. Every day, my precious boy. You're lying. I know you are. You just want to leave me. You can go if you want to. Just follow the sign. And where does that lead to? Hell, then, I guess? Because I really do feel like this is kind of a like purgatory idea. These back rooms. A waiting room? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, this is so Beetlejuice coded. <laughs> That was it? Okay. Hmm. I have to say it's a very vague episode. But when I kind of start to think like, oh, it's all like a bit of a like metaphor for like purgatory and hell and all. And because he was hiding what he did, just like the other guy at first. I guess it does kind of make sense. I have to say, it was a very abrupt ending, I think. I would have liked to get some more answers, but I also think if you kind of think about it for yourself, you kind of have the answers. I don't think they could have added much more to it. But again, it is a typical American Horror Stories episode. Something that could have been way bigger, uh, could have been executed maybe better but i do kind of get what they were trying to do with this one the thing that kind of bothers me with a lot of episodes from american horror stories is just like that like the thing we're seeing it really feels like it's still a concept in someone's head and not like a good written story to already show on television and i think that is where american horror story mostly fails to be honest i don't know i just really do enjoy the small stories but i i don't know there was the plot twist where it appeared that he killed the son and i think it was a pretty interesting idea but i feel like they could have done so much more with this again which is kind of my opinion with a lot of episodes here i notice basically what they're trying to say in the end is that you have to wait kind of forever to finally get your redemption or uh, see what's going to happen to you and I think that is like a punishment on itself uh, so yeah it really did remind me of Beetlejuice though kind of like the waiting room there with all the people who died so I think my opinion on this one is it's a fun little story and it's interesting but they could have executed it a bit better I also would have loved to maybe see some more rooms now we only had two different rooms and then you had like the creepy people with the masks. I think it would have been fun if there would have been at least three or just some more. Or that if he would have opened another do door, for example, he would have ended up somewhere else, you know. But then in real life, so much time passed and he was gone for like three weeks or longer, even the second time. I don't know. I think it would have been fun if he just would have been stuck in like a lot of rooms that then he finally finds a door and then he ends up in another room you know that it takes super long before he gets back but now it's indeed just like an office looking building some people with masks him seeing his son yeah in the end that's of course because he's feeling guilty of course i don't think i have a lot more to say about it like i said i just really enjoy the short stories but this one really could have been executed a bit better um but yeah i still had fun watching it so uh i'm very curious what you guys think about it if you have like another opinion or you have something to add to my opinion let me know in the comments down below and uh, like i said if you want to see my full reaction to the episode then you can check out my patreon second episode will already be available under the early access tier so check it out and if you like my reaction to this episode then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you at the next episode Bye.